just wanted to share this fun meditation technique that uh, I learned um, a long time ago and haven't actually done it very often but it's, uh, it's a really nice one to do and what you do is you look around you to see what you can see that's of interest and then you focus, you walk towards the thing in a meditative way and then you focus on the thing uh, and really really look at it and take it in and then you look around and you do the same thing again. So the first thing I noticed were these trilliums. So when you take a look at a flower, you want to really look at it and have a look at the, the sepals on it and the veins on the petals and the veins on the leaves. At the moment these trilliums are covered in pollen from one of the trees and also we've got some lovely twin leaf here so another plant local plant that's our herb bed there and oh saxifrage that we just got from the garden center last weekend so Oh, I'm just noticing there's a bit of dew has fallen on it, or possibly water from the hose, to be fair. Um, saxifrages like to grow on cliff tops and in rocky places, so hoping that it will like it there. Oh yes, and I'm going to take a look at the violets. got a ton of violets in the garden. And you can notice that if you look closely at the violet, it does look a bit like its relative, the pansy. And the next thing is this peony. Look how red the leaves are. Also covered in pollen from the tree. Yeah, so that's the technique. You just kind of wander around um, from thing that attracts your attention um, to the next thing that attracts your attention and really, really look at the things and take them in and take in their details. Uh, and if you like, you can write some poetry as a response to the things you've been looking at. So um, it's a lovely technique to do. and. Uh, as a person who is rubbish at meditating, this is one that actually works for me. So thank you very much, John Harley, who taught me that one. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and take care out there and bless a bee.